Hi guys Kingslayer here, welcome to my brand new video. Today I'm going to teach you top 5 effects to add to your montages using After Effects. Which you would have seen me using in all my Valorant montages. So let's go to our After Effects composition and get started. Select a clip of your choice. Go to the frame where the kill banner shows up on the top right corner. Add the following effects to your clip. Go to frames back and keyframe brightness and blurness as shown. Then go two frames forward and set brightness to 2 and blurness to 15. Then go 30 frames forward and set brightness to 1 and blurness to 0. Your glow effect is ready. You can apply this effect whenever you get a kill. Do the same steps as done in first effect. Add wave warp to the same clip, change the settings as shown. Keyframe wave height by going 2 frames back. Set the wave height to 20 where you get the kill. Then set it back to 0 after 30 frames. Your sawtooth kill effect is ready, use this effect on the final kill. Select a clip where you get operator kill. Add S edge raise to the clip. Set raise length to 0.125 and select a color of your choice. Go two frames back and keyframe raise brightness. Go back where you took the kill and set raise brightness to 2. Then go 30 frames forward and set it back to 0. Your edge raise effect is ready. Select a point where you want to add slow motion and split the clip. Now add Twixter or Twixter Pro and copy my settings. Keyframe the speed on first frame of the clip and set speed to 2 on second frame. Select both the clips and pre-compose them as shown. Add optics compensation to the layer. Mark the point where you scope out of the gun. Go forward 5 frames in keyframe field of view. Come back to the marker and set it to 115. Now come 20 frames back and set field of view to 0. Add S raise to the layer. Keyframe raise brightness on the marker and set it to 2. Go 5 frames back and set raise brightness to 0. Go 20 frames forward and set raise brightness to 0. Add S dissolve shake and set amplitude to 2. Keyframe dissolve speed on the marker and set it to 30%. Go 5 frames back and set dissolve speed to 0%. Go 20 frames forward and set dissolve speed to 0%. Your optics shake effect is ready. I learned this effect from CJ. That's why I call this CJ shockwave effect. Add slow motion on the kill using Twixter is done in previous effect. And pre-compose the layers. Add shockwave overlay on the top, link is in the description. Scale it to 150 and set blend mode to add. Now set the time stretch to 30 as shown. Bring the clip at the start of the marker and add BCC LED effect. You will require BCC plugin for this. Set LED size X to 3 and select whichever LED shape you like. 
your CJ shockwave effect is ready. Like and subscribe to my channel if this tutorial was helpful to you. I'll be making more such tutorials on editing montages in the future. Until then goodbye.